Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're here with a new episode. Today, I'm going to be working on a SanDisk X600 unit that came from uh, a follower uh, who runs a tech shop. And uh, I always appreciate anybody who watches uh, this channel and sends work my way. This is the unit that uh, we need to restore data from. I'm not very familiar with this specific device. So whenever I'm not familiar with the device, I always uh, try to obtain uh, a donor device so that I can test, measure, and uh, find out how things should be working uh, using an example. Because when you're working with a failed unit, measuring a failed unit without having something to compare it to in a proper functional state can be challenging. So right now I have this connected for demonstration purposes and uh, if I switch over to uh, my uh, screen capture and power on the device we see uh, all registries here light up like Christmas tree with a little bit of dim uh, look to it. In some cases it will mean that there is a short somewhere in some cases it will mean that controller may be dead that's exactly the reason why I got the the donor so if we turn off power on it and uh, disconnect it connect this one here this is our uh, test unit our test unit let me put the microscope view of it this is what it looks like I'm gonna grab a tester set it to DC mode for the ground I'm just gonna poke it right through where the mounting screw would go and uh, let's just measure some basic things power on the device we got it recognized So we got 3.2, we got 2 .5, 2 .5, 2 .5. 3.2, 3.2. 1 for the controller, 1.3, and let's see what's going on with our NANDs. These are connected to our chips, so 2.5 here, we have 1.8 up here, 2.5 and again 1.8 all right so let's see where things stop on our failed unit same thing I'm gonna use this pad here for the ground and let's take some measurements all up all right so we got 3.2 coming here We have nothing here, we have nothing here, nothing here, 
So we're getting 3.2, but nothing else. Uh, what about the mand? Nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. 3.2 is not going to be enough for this thing to run properly. Uh, so let's see. What else would stand out and maybe not look right? Anything fractured, anything discolored. Who? <laughs> What I see here, um, that's interesting. You guys seeing this? The hell is this? Why would somebody want to jump? A capacitor. You know what the capacitor should do, right? It should not be closed. And if we set it up for the test, this would mean that the circuit is closed. And it obviously is closed because it's got a wire running from one end to another. Uh, guess what? That wire is not from, from the factory. Here's what the donor looks like in that same spot this is the component if it's closed circuit it's gonna do this noise And if it's not, it's going to do the single beep. Because one uh, end of the terminal is on the ground and another one is connected somewhere else. I think that this ended up somewhere they decided to sabotage the device. I'm not even going to disorder it. I'm just going to rip that wire in half. I'm not going to be surprised at all if this device uh, just works when we plug in. I don't know how I missed it on my initial. I wouldn't even order the. I bought a donor for like 60 bucks. I would have saved that money. So this is the ground. We should hear one quick beep. Yep. I'm going to need to find out the rest of the story. Where this guy got this unit from. It's crazy somebody would do that. Uh, let's go. Power up. Look. Auto. Boom. It did doesn't know what family it belongs to who cares we're going into universal utility 512 gigs sandisk xp full serial number sector edit that is here clear sabotage clear as a day what are we doing in this case we are going to open up data extractor real quick So, as you can see, the data is getting produced. Pretty well. 50 megabytes, 70 megabytes, 90. 90 megabytes per second. That's the speed of my drive. That's not going to be any faster. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can see that this unit has no issues at all. We're imaging it flawlessly. There is our device, there is the partition, there's the MFT map. Doesn't look like a lot. Um, Alright, let's go with bitmap. Alright, so we've got 
Oh my god. And it's formatted too. Let's see. All of this was created in September 22. Because it's definitely fresh installed. Uh, somebody screwed up and put something on there. So the, if it was trimmed, the data is no longer here. I got this case in November, uh, almost like end of November. Yeah, I know it's been some time, right? Um, but this data had been created two months prior to that. So. So who knows but hey you know what he, if I had to guess what happened here I would say that whoever worked on this before accidentally uh, did the trim format of this thing killed all of the data and when they realized what they did they sabotaged the drive so that it looked like it's not working hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode I certainly did I um, should have been more visual with this uh, device when I first got it it would have been sold much quicker. I was looking for a donor for so long and finally found something that I could order. Uh, and it took like three weeks, four weeks almost to uh, arrive. We'll see you in the next episodes. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. If you like data recovery, this is all we do. Um, if you uh, have any questions, make sure you comment down in the comment section below. If you need the service for data recovery, you can check the description box below this video there's going to be a link to our website where you can request our services and as always guys i highly highly appreciate all of your likes it does help to move these videos up and i appreciate your support i'll see you all in the next episode